All right, so welcome to Wise Guys Entertainment. This is your host, Wyman. Uh, this is a segment I call uh, Grubbin' on the One. We're just gr grubbing on the one. Grubbing on the one. Gr grubbing on the one. Uh, this is uh, a video where we try something new. Try out a, a dish and see how it turns out. Uh, this is, from what I can tell, it, the brand is high, or maybe it's pronounced he. Um, and what's cute is that it's got like a little pepper shape for the eye. Uh, this is called a spicy sausage self-heating hot pot, Sichuan style. So... I am of Chinese descent, as I put it, American of Chinese descent. Um, so I was I consider myself an American. Uh, although I I like my Chinese heritage, I have no ob obligation or loyalty to China. Uh, I'm what they call ABC short for American born Chinese. Typically, uh, ABC is uh, someone who's like th at least third generation Chinese. Um, you, you where your grandparents and or your parents came from China, one or both of your grandparents and parents came from uh, China uh, you were born in the United States and you were predominantly raised uh, as an American. And uh, in my case, although my parents spoke Chinese and were fluent and spoke with our grandparents who uh, spoke 95% Chinese, uh, my sister and I were raised English, uh, learning English. Uh, I learned little bits and pieces, uh, but, and my cousins tried to teach me Chinese, but I, I never grasped it. Um, so, anyway, that was just a little tangent there. Uh, I'm going to try this out. I traditionally love noodles. Uh, for another video, I might go delve a little deeper into the the horrible, uh, what I refer to as the ramen noodle diet, <laughs> uh, which I'll tell you now I don't recommend. Uh, everything in moderation, that's the key. So I'm going to try this. And uh, what's interesting is it gives you a visual diagram of cooking instructions. And it looks like it's basically saying, throw all the dried ingredients into the bowl, uh, add water, and it's showing a picture of a water bottle, filling it to the fill line. And then it's uh, met the maximum fill line. And then from what I can tell, I think this is adding a seasoning packet. And then, I guess there's some kind of uh, heating element activated in the bottom. I'm not exactly how sure how this works exactly, but it's showing steam coming off in the other pictures. Okay, so uh, we all know this is going to be loaded with uh, sodium, so we're not going to spend a lot of time. Uh, but it includes pickled vegetables, spicy flavor, hot pot seasoning, Sichuan style spicy sausage, and vermicelli noodles. <clears throat> vermicelli, as you may know, is very fine noodle. So it's um, thinner than spaghetti. That's a good way to visualize it. All right, so let's open this up. I just realized 
Oh, this originally was uh, shrink wrapped in plastic too. So I've already removed that. So I'll pop this open and we'll check this out. And see if we can get this uh, made properly. Okay. Oh, here we go. So the lid comes apart here. Oh, wow. Look at that. All right, so here's the vermicelli noodles. Vermicelli. Uh, Sichuan style spicy sausage. I'm not certain, but I think this might be the closest equivalent to uh, what we have in uh, Chinese cuisine called lop chong. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is this? <laughs> oh my gosh, they came they included everything, didn't they? It looks like there's a spoon and uh all right, so let's see. So the thing is, I'm at my art desk slash computer desk slash everything desk. So I didn't want to rest anything on my keyboard, fearing that if I rested this big old ball on the keyboard that I might inadvertently trigger something or activate something or press too many keys on my keyboard and uh, stop this video. Alright, so this is basically like your plasticware. Your so we got a napkin. We got, ha, huh, that's uh, courteous, or that's convenient. It's a toothpick. Who'd have thunk it? Oh my gosh, is this what I think it is? Oh wait, no. All right, so we got a spoon. And then we've got, believe it or not, oh my gosh, these are pretty good looking chopsticks. Oh, oh, oh man, I always need, I needed a pair of chopsticks. I love using chopsticks. Here's a, a side note. Oh, damn, this is sweet. Uh, this is pretty crazy. I uh, Here's a fun story. Spicy flavor hot pot seasoning. So here's a funny story. So back when I was a kid, we used to go to McDonald's a lot. And at McDonald's, they they try to be creative with their chicken nuggets. And with the chicken nuggets, it came with a pair of uh, wooden chopsticks. And uh, the funny part about it is it even gave you instructions on how to use chopsticks. And it was those McDonald's chopsticks instructions that I used to pick up chicken McNuggets that actually ended up being what taught me how to use chopsticks. So now you can use it. Now I can use chopsticks to pick up spoons. Boink. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get this or not. Oh, it's too slippery. I was trying to pick up the Sichuan spicy sausage. All right, napkin. All right, so this is a quick tutorial on how to use chopsticks for those of you who don't know. Uh, pretend you're going to uh, you hold this as you would a, a pen or pencil. I tend to hold it like this. But the idea is you make your index finger of one hand parallel to the stick and use your thumb of that same hand 
to hold it in place. You take the other stick and you're basically making it parallel to start uh, with the first stick and then you use the middle finger at least this is how I use them people hold them slightly different so you know it varies by person you'll see people have diff slightly different hand positions finger positions so then I use the end segment of my middle finger to hold the bottom one into position and then your top finger your index finger is basically the part that has all the control so you keep the bottom one stationary rigid and you use the top one to pinch So try that out next time you have um, you go out for Chinese. All right, so we got the bowl. Let's see what else we got going on. We got pickled vegetables. By the way, um, I was saying how the Sichuan style spicy sausage reminds me of uh, something we call Lap Chong. Lap Chong, as I remember, is pork. Pork pieces, assorted pork pieces. And then it's loaded with chunks of fat throughout the sausage. So if you imagine an American sausage and then you load it up with... Uh, um, additional fat you know with the sauce uh, when you make sausage you usually add fat to it um, in many cases with uh, American and Italian sausages the fat is actually ground into the lean meat and then is packed into uh, a sausage sleeve um, but when it comes to this one, the Chinese sausages, you got the, I think it's pork, unless it's pork and beef combined, kind of like, uh, hot dogs, but they also add tiny little chunks of fat throughout. So you can literally see the fat in it. It's like a guilty pleasure. All right, so let me see. Here is a heating bag. All right, so let's make sure we don't eat it. Let's make sure we don't set it on fire. Let's make sure that we don't go in an elevator or get shrunken down in size to where someone will use us for experimentation. Uh... Don't touch it while it's hot. Uh, it may be okay to drop it like it's hot, but don't touch it while it's hot. And, uh, huh. It looks like slime or ooze. All right, let's see what these really say. Uh, prohibit eating. All right, that's obvious. Be away from fire, all right, so it's flammable, and keep it away from flames. Be careful of scald, all right, so you don't want to burn yourself. Prohibit the use of confined spaces, all right, so you don't want it in a very tight, narrow location. You want, a lot of, you want a lot of air circulation. Okay, and prohibit hot water. All right, this is the thing that's confusing me because I think... Oh, wait, what do we have here? Caution. Check 
the heating bag before use. Do not use it if it has any damage or contaminates food. Be careful about ventilation. Do not use in confined spaces. Please use it immediately after the plastic bag is open. Don't touch the heating bag with your with wet hands. Ooh. So this must be one of those things where hmm, this is interesting. This is gonna be trippy. So it seems to me that this is probably what's listed as one of the final steps in the cooking process. But I think that's what they're trying to demonstrate here. Yeah, the bowl of the ingredients. And then you've got, I think this is the heating packet. It's hard to tell, but I think that's what it is. So I bet all the spices and seasonings and all right, there's a vermicelli noodles there's the spicy sausage that looks like tomatoes and chunks of lettuce that looks like tofu um all right but i don't think i have tofu oh it, it's probably pickled vegetables all right so Dun, 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 dun. Um, the reason I'm taking my time with this is I've never made one of these. I've never even seen one of these before. Dun, 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 dun. Please use it immediately after the plastic bag is open. All right, so at least it makes it clear that we are going to remove the plastic from it. Don't touch the heating bag with wet hands. So this bag, as soon as it gets in contact with liquid, it's probably going to activate and generate heat. Don't tear off the non-woven cloth of the heating bag before or after use. Please... Put the heating bag in the garbage after it stops heating. If contact with eyes, rinse immediately. If eaten by mistake, vomit immediately and seek medical seek for medical advice. Do not allow minors to use it alone. Product name: special heating bag for food. Meeting. All right. Then it goes into the ingredients of the stuff. All right. Wow, this is interesting. Okay. This is freaking funny. I'm trying to find where the bloody water level is. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see if you can see this. Uh, how do I position this? All right, so it's got Chinese writing here, and then it's got two arrows pointing down, and the line is uh, over here. Let's see. So it's approximately uh, half an inch, three quarters of an inch from the top of the clear tray. And I'm... I guess the water goes in the bottom. Let me see. Let's look at the picture again. <laughs> okay, let's see. Precautions. When take this product out, please also bring drinking water. Keep in a cool, dry place at room temperature. Once open, the product should be consumed immediately. <laughs> All right. Oh, 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 check this out. All right. Oh, man. Oh, man. Isn't this guy adorable? 
check him out. He's kicking it. What the heck? So we've got, let's see, cooking instruction. Please read carefully the storage instructions and precautions on the heating package. Take out the upper white meal box and put vermicelli, pickled vegetables, sausage, and hot pot seasoning in order. All right. Let's actually, let me go step away, grab some water. Sorry, I had to take a sip of coffee. All right. Sorry, you guys. I forgot. I forgot to uh, prepare my water ahead of time. All right. So I got the water. All right. Take the upper. Oh, shoot. Scissors. Might as well get my garbage can ready too. Cooking scissors. All right, so upper white meal box, put vermicelli. All right. Upper white meal box. Vermicelli. See, look at this. Uh, vermicelli, if I am not mistaken, is also referred to as angel hair pasta. Look how thin it is. Now, this version of vermicelli looks like it's made of rice noodle, noodles. You can tell because it looks translucent, as opposed to being yellow in color, like uh, egg noodles. And as you, as the name suggests, egg noodles are actually made with egg. Uh, that's where it gets its yellow color. Um, <clears throat> so we got the vermicelli in there. We need the pickled vegetables. Uh, whoa, dang it. My spice is all sage. All right, whoa, shoot. Oh dear. I need a bigger workspace. And what's weird is that I seem to have a lot of dreams where I'm dealing with needing a larger workspace. It's weird. All right, so it's got the tearaway thing going on. Whoa. I was trying to smell it. Yeah. All right, so pick up vegetables. Whoops. Uh, let's see here. 
I haven't gotten them all out, so let's get my top, my trusty chopsticks out. Like juice all over my keyboard. Mm -hmm, hmm. All right. Got the pickled vegetables in there. What kind of vegetables there they are? I have no clue. I don't recognize him even. Sausage. All right, so the spicy sausage. Now, as I mentioned, this rem I, um, this spicy sausage. Oh, I thought this was a pull apart type of package, but I'm unable to uh, pull it apart from any of these corners. Man, da, 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 da. Hi, I'm Prince Adam. Oops. Homely Prince. Prince of Eternia and defender of Castle Grayskull. Magical powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull, he man. Magical, practical powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my scissors and said, By the power of cutting. All right, so. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the the aroma from the sausage is giving me a, a shiver. Uh, I hope this is tasty because <laughs> so far, at least for my taste, it doesn't smell that good. Uh, sausage, hot pot seasoning. All right, now the seasoning. Sort of. <clears throat> For those of you in, wait, huh, it feels like it's got stuff in it. For those of you familiar with Asian uh, sauces and stuff, it feels like the viscosity of an oyster sauce with um, sesame seeds in it. And it might actually have uh, the, the, that hot pepper sauce, too. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, okay. It looks like a hot pepper sauce. Oh, or a hot bean sauce. Oh, wow, well, yeah. I actually like the smell of this sauce. This is like... Uh, I think it's called hot bean sauce. If you go to Asian restaurants, there. Oh man, you'll often find. Uh, mm. This will often be one of the. Ooh, heat. One of the sauces you find. Uh, sitting with the condiments along with the soy sauce and sometimes sweet and sour sauce, but usually you'll see soy sauce and uh, I think sometimes sriracha sauce, sriracha, sriracha sauce. Mm, that's good, but it's... Wow. You'll recognize it because it'll be in a little jar, right? And it'll have a, 
it'll have a it'll be round a small cylinder and it'll have a clear it'll be see-through or clear it'll have a little notch in there and then a tiny spoon inside I'll try and give you a closer look at what we've got so far so this is like a like finely chopped or diced minced minced uh, pepper and stuff <clears throat> okay so we got that step two add drinking water to the maximum fill line inside of the white meal box and put aside okay I am sure glad it's got these more thorough instructions on the inside of the box because otherwise I would probably be lost okay so here's what it looks like so far and as you can see the uh, pardon my big old arm as you can see uh, try and do this reverse um, here's the Chinese writing and then below that is the fill line max so now I gotta set this aside <clears throat> excuse me add cold water to the maximum fill line of the black box oh I didn't realize there was a maximum fill line in the black box too Let's find it. Oh wait, is that it? Mm. Hmm. That's odd. Oh, there it goes. All right. Turn on the flashlight on my phone. Oh, okay. All right. I think I found it. So, let me see if I'm going to be able to show this to you. All right. So, here's this line here. Oops. Ah, this way. Uh, there's a Chinese writing, and it's got the arrows. Man, I can't. It's got the arrows pointing down to this line here. That ridge. <clears throat> That's where I have to fill it to. So turn off my thingamajigger. All right. Set my chopsticks to the side. Add water. All right, so we've got the water added. You can see that here. Is that the max fill line? All right. And it says cold water only. Tear the plastic bag of the heating package to confirm that the non-woven. All right, I tore <laughs> tore this outer box, so some of the lettering, it, some of the words are all messed up. Uh, so to confirm that the non-woven fabric is not damaged and let's see and then place it in the box uh, the black yeah and then you uh, put the white tray on top 
Put the white box into the black box quickly and fasten the lid. Ah, all right. Set aside for 15 minutes. Open the lid, stir well, and enjoy. Okay. So basically what we're going to do is some science. <clears throat> so you've got water. And open this and throw this in. And I'm not I'm gonna try my best not to even touch it even when it's dry. Oops. Then put the tray in. Then put the lid on. Ha! Huh. Nice and snug. And check it out. It's even got a little venting hole. Where the dot of the eye is. Ha! 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 This is pretty trippy. This is funny. Alright. So, it's going to cause a reaction to activate the heating pad. The heating pad will in turn heat up the water. The water will heat up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa. I don't know if you could hear it. Whoa. Holy crap. Oh, shit. Can you see the seam? Whoa. Freaking A. All right. Let's see if you could hear it. I'm going to bring it close to the mic. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy mo- Oh, whoops. Set timer for 15 minutes. Okay. 15 minutes and counting. Dang. Whoa, oh man, oh, all right, so, oh man, you can feel the warm, oh wow, the water is hot, damn, this is fast, um, I got this on the edge of my art desk, can you see the steam, oh, <laughs> isn't that cool, look at that steam, Oh, that steam. Can you steam that steam? Ooh. I was going to put styrofoam plates underneath this, but... It looks like I have a pretty stable base on my art desk. I'm trying to give you a good look at the steam. Because it's cool. Alright, so I'm going to... Touch carefully the bottom. Woo! Hot, hot, hot. Super hot. Yeah. So this is kind of like a portable pressure cooker. And that's why if you take this to go for like a... <clears throat> uh, like if you have this as your bag lunch, if you will. It's got everything you need to uh, be portable. Uh, but you do just need to make sure you've got yourself a, a bottled water. Let me see if it helps to also visualize. So I, I'm using a, a gallon water bottle and on a gallon water bottle it consumes about two about the first three inches of the bottled water 
excuse me, in a gallon container. So that's about how much water you'll need. Okay, so my handles are still cool to the touch. I'm going to move this closer to the mic and see if you can hear it. Leave a comment if you can hear the sound of the food steaming. What a trip. This is a crack up. Oh, another view of the steam. Oh, that's a good look. That's a good uh, angle to have the light. Oh, man. Oh man, I'm actually I'm looking forward to trying this out. Honestly, I didn't expect this video to be this long. I thought I was gonna. There's some other videos that uh, go over the same topic, but I did uh, go off on tangents and talk about other stuff as well. Instead of giving a a quick tutorial from beginning to end so that just that's just to give you an idea of what we're looking at how much time do we have now <clears throat> all right so we got about ten and a half minutes to go I set aside my plasticware. I'm going to. Uh, let me see if I can turn on my light here. All right, there we go. Uh, I'm going to set aside my. It is a single toothpick, right? Yeah. I just checked it against the light. There's only one toothpick in it. For a second, it felt like it might be thick enough to have uh, <clears throat> two toothpicks in the packet. The little paper packet. Um, I've got myself a fork as backup in case I get tired of using the the uh, chopsticks but I don't think I'll get tired of them because I haven't used chopsticks in some time and I gotta admit the quality of these chopsticks is pretty dang good and uh, all things considered they're not even made of the wood or I don't know if it's technically balsa wood or what ooh this is smelling good uh, but what's neat is I don't know if you can see it with this camera quality but it's actually shaped like an arrow there's a red arrow going into the black handle it's pretty trippy I bet I wonder is it detachable uh, maybe if you if you pry it open but <clears throat> I think I need to keep these dang these are pretty nice actually yeah I needed a pair of chopsticks hadn't had any in a while okay so I'm looking at eight and a half minutes to go I'm gonna have I'm gonna keep this video rolling and I am next going to put away my water bottle. Be right back. Oh, and uh, set aside the scissors for washing. Rinsing off. Okay, so I'm back, and I decided that uh, since I'm uh, trying some Asian hot pot that I'm going to pair it with 
I, I have coffee, and I'll probably continue drinking coffee tonight, but, uh, I happen to have, oops, uh, it says Tiger World Acclaimed Asian Lager, award-winning full-bodied beer since 1932 born in Singapore let's see any other details since 1932 <coughs> excuse me what's interesting it says is born in Singapore it's world acclaimed all right so I guess it's acclaimed in all these countries this is an interesting design not only do you have the cool little tiger but you've got, it looks like these awards up here. And then you've got all these uh, countries as well. Hong Kong, Kuala Lumpur, Shanghai, Taipei, Paris, Ho Chi Minh City, London. So world renowned. Geneva. Singapore. Wow, this is cold and crisp. I got a pretty good fridge. <coughs> Excuse me. And to sort of uh, continue an Asian theme, I happen to have coasters of peacocks. Well, I guess to be legitimately Asian, it would be something like a phoenix or a dragon or a lion, not a peacock. What am I smoking? All right, so let's pop this baby open, give it a taste. I'll tell you right now, I'm not really a beer aficionado. I like certain beers, but generally speaking, I really don't drink much of anything at all. I mean... Uh, alcohol wise but if I do drink a beer it's usually going to be a lager or an ale or um, let's see Tiger's not bad. Um, uh, oh, I usually drink Guinness if I do drink beer. But generally speaking, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't drink. But maybe once a uh, once, uh, year. And that's on New Year's Eve. Wasn't sure if you could guess that. But yep. Generally speaking, anytime I drink is going to be New Year's Eve. And uh, another fun fact is, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll either drink uh, like a white Zinfandel or a champagne and uh, I typically don't drink more than a glass or a glass and a half at most I'm a I'm very much lightweight um, the only reason I've been drinking beer as of late is because I got some from family <laughs> they, basically, they didn't want it anymore, and I hate to see things go to waste. So I said, hey, send it my way. I'll drink it in moderation. So what I'm doing is a tricky learning chemistry. <clears throat> Excuse me. If there's something you want to test for a smell on, something that emits an aroma, Especially if it's a chemical, if it's chemical in nature, uh, a perfume, an aroma from a food, you use your hand and waft the 
sent in your direction. So you're not getting the full brunt of it all at once. You're just getting a sniff, a taste, uh, the gist of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, it's about time. My timer says a minute 52. Excuse me. Steam's still coming out. Uh, it stopped rapidly boiling. I'm. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Wow. This is pretty incredible. I like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wonder what other dishes they make or if it's all hot pots. This is really trippy and also pretty fun for like if you uh, if you're at work and you have a one hour lunch the first 15-20 minutes could be making your meal. Yeah. <clears throat> The other advantage to wafting the air, you know, you're, you're, instead of you leaning forward into it and getting the full brunt of the aroma or smell, especially if it's a harmful chemical, is that not only do you lessen the dosage, but if it uh, is something that can cause burning, like if it can burn your nose hairs off, then... Uh, it'll have less effect on you. You're basically just pushing air to push the aroma in your direction, your general direction. So that's your daily dose of science. All right, so that's the time, that's the cooking timer. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's see if we can open this safely without burning ourselves. Whoa, jeez. Oh man, I need to use my napkin because I spilled some water on my keyboard and on my desk. Well, so much for my little lunch napkin. <laughs> Okay, so, <clears throat> uh, set aside for 15 minutes, open the lid, stir well, and enjoy. Okay. And then, uh, then you're also supposed to spill your beverage and I guess do some rapping as you listen to your beatbox and wear a hat. Oh, speaking of hats, check this out. <clears throat> check this out. I got this hat. Fried chicken is my spirit animal. <laughs> I, I saw that and I fell in love. All right. So, that said, let's get our chopsticks and maybe even our spoon. Let's see if we can mix this baby. Well, this is interesting. Oh, my gosh. So I forget what this is called. Um, I want to say it's like uh, something root. What I'm doing with the spoon is I'm trying to break up the vermicelli, separate it some more. I forget what root this is, but 
I recognize it. <laughs> Not enough to remember its name. And these other things, they almost look like bell pepper, but no. The, uh, is it like a super flat green bean or something? I don't know. Uh, this might be bamboo shoot. Man, this is freaking funny. This is so darn funny. Okay. So, it's kind of probably going to be quite hot. Maybe I should have kept my water with me. Let's at least try some. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not too thrilled with this. Hmm. That one was a tender kind of vegetable. That first one was, I don't know if I'd call it gelatinous. Let's try and get some vermicelli noodles. And again, I do have a fork as backup if I need it, but I'm hoping not to have to use it. But I might have to. <clears throat> well, it's interesting. I will say this though, I don't think it's something that I would intentionally order or pick up in the store. If they had like other combinations and um, other ingredients, then I might explore those. But this specific one, I like the heat from the spice. I love vermicelli needles. But I'm not generally a fan of this. Um, it's got like a, a licorice smell to it. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of licorice. And as you may have heard, smell is a big part of how something tastes. Because as, you're, as the flavors are hitting the various areas of your tongue tasting it the aroma is coming through your nostrils and onto your palate and also sending signals to your brain let's try the sausage So a spicy sausage. All right, so let me get the spoon. This is a little slickery sucker. So this does look a lot like what I was describing earlier, lap chong. Clean my nasal passages. If you can see the light areas that I believe are little chunks of fat. So it's like combining or adding chunks of fat into the 
rest of the meat to make the sausage. And this is supposed to be a root vegetable. And if I remember from when my grandparents used to make this, they, uh, you peel the root, it, look, it resembles a cucumber, a large cucumber. And then uh, it's already got these uh, holes down it throughout the length of them. And then you slice them. Hmm. I kind of like that. It's got a crunchy texture. I think the problem with this, the part I don't like, is that I don't know, maybe this is just how these hot pots are designed. It's an overwhelmingly strong light licorice smell and it's loaded with the hot pepper sauce and that like drowns out the flavors that you might otherwise experience. So. Again, to conclude, this is the the high or the he hot pot spicy sausage version self-heating hot pot, and then uh, um, the food itself is in the top portion in this white bowl, and then there's water and uh, uh, a heat activation pad underneath in the bottom of the black tray. It's quite interesting, and I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish the rest of this, even though I'm not thrilled with the flavor. <laughs> All right, so guys, let me know. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you happen to have ever tried this or something similar to it. Let me know what your experience was, whether you liked it or not. Whether you've uh, happened to seen other flavors of this kind of dish, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you when when you hit subscribe, be sure and mark it uh, for notifications by ringing the bell and mark all notifications. I have a sip of this tiger lager again. In a sense, the lager helps counter the heat of the spice. Uh, <clears throat> um, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and all the little nuggets of uh, fun facts I shared with you. And until next time, you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.